All right, and welcome back to another class. Now, this one is going to be about creating vehicles from your imagination. Now, not too long ago, I put up a video about uh, creating vehicles or just drawing vehicles, how to draw vehicles. So I want to expound on that one. And this one is about drawing them from your imagination. Now, what this is, this was the thumbnail from that last video, and I just have it up here so that you can have something to look at while I ramble and um, not just see my hands Twitter about. So the one thing about creating or drawing vehicles from your imagination is that you have to see it in your head before you can draw it. Because a lot of people ask me, oh, how do I draw this? Or how do I draw that? Or how do I, how do I make that? And it's not just, you know, draw a, a, a cat or, or a hand or something like that. They want me to draw like some armor, for instance. I had a number of people ask me how to draw armor. I can show you how to draw armor, but it might not be the armor that you want because I cannot see what you want to draw. So this is going to help you by answering some questions to draw what you really need or what you're trying to see in your head. Because that's like me giving you money to say and tell you to go out and buy my favorite car in my favorite color. You would say, I don't know what your favorite car is and I don't know what your favorite color is. How am I supposed to do that? So then how am I supposed to create an armor for you guys or a spaceship for you guys? If that's all you have, it's in your head, you have to see it. So this is gonna help you see it better and then once you see it, you're going to be able to draw it a lot better. And you won't have to ask anybody else for any more help unless it's just something that you really, really, really don't know. So let's get on with this video. All right. So the first thing you have to ask yourself, and you should already know this, is what is it that I want? Do you want to draw a, a plane? You want to draw a car? You want to draw a battleship? You want to draw whatever, <clears throat> a suit of armor, whatever. So the first thing you need to know is what is the purpose of this thing that you want to draw? Now, I want to draw a car. I'm just going to draw like a futuristic car, and I'm going to draw it using the steps that I'm going to show you guys. So you can take these steps and apply it to whatever it is that you want to draw. Now, later on, I want to get into another video where just create drawing from the imagination period, and it just won't be one little subject like cars or something or, or vehicles. We'll get into that, but I'll get into that later. So... As I said, the first thing I want to do, I want to draw a car. Now, what is the car's purpose? Or what is this vehicle's purpose that you have in mind? Is it the spaceship? You know, if you, it's a battle cruiser. You know, it's, it's meant to destroy planets. Um, it's, uh, you know, that suit of armor meant to make the person invulnerable. All right. You have that. What is the purpose of it? So the purpose of this car is it's going to be fast and it's going to fly. So it's going to be a flying car. Okay. So right off the bat okay let's go to the next thing how big is this thing how big is this battle cruiser how big is this armor how big is this plane how big is this you know um whatever you know the, the ship this the thing could be a troop carrier or a planet destroyer so this car that i'm working on what's the size of it? the size it's maybe say about a two-seater you know it's not gonna be a minivan size it's maybe a little bigger than um a lamborghini you know it's meant for speed and to fly now, what is the shape of it? Is it square? Is it round? Is it pointed? So these things you have to ask yourself before you create this thing, whatever it is you want to do, this airplane. You know, if you just want to draw something to look cool, then you want a you know, nice cool shape to it. But if you want to do something like with purpose, then you have to put a little more thought into it. So since I'm drawing a car, unless this car is like 100% futuristic and nobody has ever seen it before, then I'm going to use reference or use what I know. So firstly, this car is going to be square or rectangle. That's my first thing. So that's going to be the shape of the car. It's looking down on it. So it's going to be rectangle shape from the side of it like that. And I can say, all right, I want to put the seats further in the back or I'm going to put the seats in the front. Forgive me if I pull this out of camera range. Let me pull my camera up a little bit, slide it up a little bit so I can have drawing space. All right, so I'll figure that out. Let's say I'll put it in, the, in more close to the back. Just for now, we're roughing it out, get my shape. So the one thing I said I wanted 
with six wheels on this car. It's, it's, I, this is in my head. I'm saying, okay, so I want six wheels on this car. So again, I'm going to start out with this. So I'm going to have two in the back, one in the front. Of course, you know they're on both sides, so that's six wheels. All right, so what did I say? That I can put my the person in the front, the seats in the front, or I can put them in the back over top of the wheels, or I can put them in the middle. So let's just let's just put it in the middle, just just for now. I'm not shaping this up. I'm just using the basic basic shape. Same thing. If you want to draw your your troop carrier or your star destroyer or your your planet killer or your armor, you know, go with your basic shapes. Go with the basic shapes. And I, I'm going to do a request video. People have asked me to how to draw certain things, and I said I'm going to do a request video and just do a quick of all those things people ask me instead of trying to do one video because if somebody said how to draw goldfish it, you know I'm not going to do a whole video on a goldfish I'll just throw it in there but since it's going to be a request video you know your requests are in there all right so now now that I have the shape of my car basic I have my six wheels that's basically all I wanted let's just say I wanted an engine in the back somehow some kind of little engine in the back so I'm going to lift that up, put my little engine right here. So I'm going to put my cat, my my thing a little further to the front to give room for that engine. I want to slim it up a little bit. So I don't want it to be square boxy. So I'm cutting it down and I don't want it to point like that. Maybe just some so the air can flow in here. And maybe a little scoop so the air can flow in there because it's it's, it's going to fly so we're going to have you know it's got to get that air sucked in um this is a two-seater sports car kind of so here's a seat right here it's going to be my seat right here my dashboard right here my steering wheel right there two seats of course let's move these wheels back a little bit more and that's all the stuff you're going to have to do when you're thinking about your car let's see the back of it and this is just a basic shape i don't know i'm just creating this i haven't done this you know i haven't done this so my door comes down and the best thing is look at look at as much reference as you can to to see how you want to kind of go about doing your your vehicle so i have my door here because this is my front well i think it's called for your for your um tire so I can have one here, one there, or just one big wheel well right there. So I'm going to double that and maybe extend the back a little bit more so it'll have room for whatever. Now, if I can, I can make this flat and have the window, or I can have one of those slope windows like this. Like that. And whatever kind of uh, decoration I want on the side of it. And lights, however, you have my, my front lights it could be pop up lights right here because I won't say if it's going to fly, I want to keep everything as smooth as possible. So let me round this off a little bit. Wind resistance, pop up lights. The scoop is going to work because the air is going to come up here and go in here and go back to this motor and help give lift. So, so far, I like that. Let's see, it's going to have like a double engine, but do I want the engines to stick out of the car? Do I want the car to be more today? And then when it gets in trouble, then, you know, he hits the button and then the motors open up. So this right here is my basic. So then I'll take this thing and then I will do it from the front. And anytime you're drawing a vehicle or something that you made, you're going to have to know how to draw it from the front, the side, the back, because you're going to be drawing this thing every which way. So let's just say like this. And this is rounded off. And here's my, my scoop to say, look, get a double one, get a double, double scoop like this. How would that go? On the hood. And then it'll go down here and maybe come out, maybe give it a wide body. So the wheels could be here. It's going to come down. Let's say I'll give it a separation in, in there and then give it like a more of a point like this. 
and my vent could come out like this underneath the bottom of it. And then you could have that, what's it, the splitter, the air splitter. I think it's the splitter that comes out the bottom. So the vent would be straight down, or no, it'd be, it'd be back like this. It'd be back, so. So you have to have that framed, and then that front splitter. And of course, you have your tires. You're going to have your massive tires because this is a sports car. And then let's get a little bit of curve to the hood. And the back is going to come out a little bit more. And you're going to see more of those back tires come out from around the front tires. And of course, this is all rough sketch. My seat, my other seat like that so you got to, oh what well, i got six wheels so you see those, those wheels but you won't see the other ones okay because it could be from the top it could be like say like this i'm probably gonna have to make it a little longer because six wheels you, you need that length for six wheels so this is going to be the, the hood this is my scoop right here this is one of my air scoops this is my other air scoop i said i centered that line Give a little bit of point to the window windshield. Like that. So it could be like this. Maybe give a little point to that one and have a little thing coming out the back. So this is all metal right here. Frame that out because if it's going to fly, it's going to have to hold that windshield down. So metal like this, metal like that. Give them a little bit of point to that. So I said wide body, so my fin is, fin is gonna come out here. The second one is gonna be, is where is it at? It's like right there in the seat. So the second one's gonna, I'll bring it back a little bit right there. And my next one is gonna be right here. So that's gonna be a long car. So what I'm doing is I'm chiseling the basic shape out and once I get it, I say to myself, okay, I don't like that. I like this. I want to add that. So to put motors on the back, so my engine is going to go way back here. Now, a couple of things can happen. I can have it in the trunk and it'll pop out of the trunk or I can leave it outside. But I said, I want to keep this more of a modern day car. So other than the six wheels, because you have like six by sixes and so forth. So, and I want to have, what do you call that? The, the, on the back, is that the spoiler on the back? I think they call it something else now. So let's say this is gone. Well, that's in the, in the trunk. So it's going to be like this. I don't have the trunk straight. And then I'll have my little thing on it because that's going to act as a wing. And so is this. This is going to act as a wing too. So it's going to come out. So this is the front of my car. And then we're going to have my... Uh, I forgot what you call these things. When I start talking, because when the mind, my mind creates like crazy, I create so much. This is why I'm doing so much at one time. Three comics, children's books, drawings, book, drawing books. Because ideas continue to flow through my head. And so instead of sticking with one thing, I'm doing so many. And that's probably going to be my downfall. So let's shake this up a little bit. Bring this in and out. Now I'm not going to say that's going to, not going to be my downfall. I'm not going to curse myself. That's what's going to make me a millionaire. Because I do so much. All right. So the motor can pop out here. So it can be like this, flat. And then the trunk could open up. So the trunk could open up like this. So let's do this. So here's my trunk, right? They open up like barn doors. All right. So they open up. I'm trying to get the good angle for you guys. They open up like this. And here's the other one. Here's the car. Just using a square. And here's the, tr the trunk that opens up. Here's my wheel. Here's my wheel. Here's my wheel. Here is my hood. Just so you can get that. Let me eat this. Get a better angle. 
And this is not about me designing a car. This is what you have to do when you think about what you're going to do. Here's the trunk. Here's the other one that opened up. And that would open up like... Like that. This is just a basic, you know... This is empty right now. This is empty like that. So that can open up too. And those could act as, as wings as well. Your rear wings. And... Bumper, the brain is thinking. How would it go? Would it go back or would it go forward? This could actually have another piece here. So it's layered. It could have another piece here. That can flip out to make that little back wing. So when the car is... When the trunk is open... Both doors open. Remember, both doors, they close. And then they open up so they could be like this. They both open up like that. And then this little piece here flips out. So you have this right there as a wing. Plus you have your uh, spoiler in the back. This piece right here to act as, you know, stable for drag. And it can actually lift up higher if need be. See, now this is turning into more of a car design and less of a uh, helping you video. But as I say, these are the things you have to think about when you're doing your vehicle. What's the purpose of it? This is a fast, sporty car, maybe for an agent, you know, to get in and get out so he can get in, and, you know, of whatever the building so he can get in and get out of, of, of danger and they know that it needs to fly. So in order to fly, it has to have a motor. Where's this motor going to be at? It's going to be on the motor uh, engine. This engine is going to be in the back. It can pop out. It could be like two, two little turbo thrusters here. And then, you know, it could extend even more. And then that's where he gets his thrust from. So the same thing can happen with the, the, the front splitter. The front splitter from the top, it's always the splitter is always there. Here are your light. Here's the front of your hood. Now underneath the splitter, almost the same way as you have this little piece that flips up, up, you can have pieces that are under the, the splitter that kind of that kind of like slide out. If this is my splitter, I have another piece in under there, and it slides out to make your wing here so you have these wings you have these wings here how would I draw that that would go back like this and then you have that and then you of course you have your high spoiler is that a spoiler I think it may well you know as I say, when I when I start drawing, so now you have all the engagements you need for your car. Engagement? You have all the pieces for realistic looking flying car. And the engine comes out here. Now the last thing you have to do is just to shape it up and add your your designs to it or, or whatever you want to do to it, and then you have it. So if you are trying to do a battleship or a fighter jet or whatever it is you're trying to do start out with the shape start out with the shape the purpose is it's going to be a troop carrier as I say so it's got to have room for the troops is it a um, what do you call those things a carrier a, a fighter jet carrier so you're going to have to need room for the fighters to come out is it going to be like old school and you have like a runway on your carrier? Let's just say I'm doing a carrier. Let's just do this long carrier. How big is it going to be? That's your main thing. The purpose of it. Let's just do whatever. This is, this is my carrier shape. So and here's going to be my bridge right here. So you're going to have the runway where the jets come out. It could be lift up on a can, 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 elevator. And then they go off the runway and they take off 
or you could be just on the side they come they fly out of the side of the ship or they could be just hooked let's just say that these are the fighters I'm gonna do them like triangles they're hooked on this just hanging so that the pilots like get in them and then they just drop and then just fly off however so things like that you have to think about size shape and purpose basically the purpose will determine the size of it and then you determine what shape I mean you could be a, like the bo like the Borg it could be just a square cube flying in space you know it works it could be you know a round sphere like the Death Star it works or you, if you want to make it look cool and then just add a lot of shapes to it then you can you know do whatever you want to do to your your flying carrier planet killer this could be like the runway and you know the bridge could be like over here somewhere this could be other takeoff runways or something you can have like weapons you know wherever on the side uh, on the very front you know definitely up on the bridge on the back well you have your, your engine in the back take off is your bridge here and whatever so it doesn't really make a difference what shape but most people try to do shapes just to, to make it look cool all right so let's wrap this up again with me going over one last thing and as I say whatever you're creating you can use these same steps so let's say a robot okay here's a quick story there's a war and people the one side have decided to build these robots to go out and fight instead of man fighting so the purpose of these robots basically is to fight in this war to kill people and to win the war now what size is this thing going to be is it going to be autonomous where it doesn't need uh men or are people going to ride into it in it which makes it a vehicle so let's just say people are going to ride in it or people are going to operate it from inside, almost like a suit of armor. Um, now, the size of it, how big is it? Is it is it just a little bigger than a man? I mean, do you have to put it on like armor and walk with it? Or do you sit in it and ride it like a tank? So, okay. People are going to sit in it. They're going to operate it. They're going to drive it kind of more like a tank-ish. But it's going to be a robot. Now... Is it going to have legs? Is it going to have wheels? It's going to have legs, so it's going to be a humanoid type of robot. People are going to climb into it like Gundam almost, and then, and uh, pilot the thing. How far in the future is this? Are the robots going to fly, or are they just going to walk? They're going to walk. We're not going to have any Gundam flying robots, so they're going to have a walk. So let's just say, is it going to be as big as Gundam, or what is that? Was it? Um, was that crazy show where the guys were in the robot and they were they were running on the treadmill Pacific something Pacific something Pacific something I don't know it's up something Pacific so let's just say start out since the robots are usually square let's just do a square robots are usually well they're not round like people because like, they're, they're, they're me mechanics mechanics so And this is just to get you started. And then later on, you put your shape in there. You shape it up. You're like, I don't want a boring robot. I don't shape it up. So what was that game? I can't think of that game with the, the pilots. The, the robot helped the pilots. And it was if I played video games, I would have it. I can't think of it now. And it was about the pilot more the robot. So let's just say the pilot is going to be, let's say he's about this big. This is this is your pilot in your robot. It's a little smaller than a Gundam. Can't think of it. So we have that. We'll shape it up later. The purpose is to go out and fight in the army, fight in the war. So we want weapons on this guy. We want rocket launchers. So we'd have to make the back a little bit wider to have like rocket launchers on the back, maybe some, some guns 
on the back. Um, is it going to carry a, a rifle? It's going to carry a rifle. Um, what are the gear is it going to need? Is it going to need like gear for the pilot? Maybe the pilot can uh, get out and, you know, like something on his leg. He'll like carry like rifles or something. So when the pilot is down there, he can pull out extra gear from the uh, leg. All these things you have to think about when you're doing, you're creating your um, vehicle, character, vehicle. So once you get the purpose and the size, then you start doing the shape. Maybe I want them to have a like a little ax for a hand. Ax for well, I got one ax, one gun in the hand. Um, let's just say maybe he's got little spikes for feet to step on soldiers. This would be like heavily armored here. So it could be like a plate or something here. Just ask the story, what is this thing going to do? Why is it doing it? Why really doesn't make a difference because you know why it's doing it. You're doing it to win a war. Rocket launchers. And there's just so much to say when you're doing something like this. So many questions to answer. And I think once you answer those questions, then you will be able to create your something that you want without really having to go for too much outside help. <clears throat> so I'm just kind of like mulling this thing over. I don't know why, but I am. And then get as much, you know, resource. Go look at Transformers or look at Gundam or look at um, some of these games with robots and use some of their um, specs to help you to design yours. Don't take somebody's robot completely because then that's the pleasure is not pleasure. It's just stealing somebody's idea. But you can take some of the elements and change them around a little bit. And then kind of make it your own. And just play around with it as much as possible. And this could be like the hatchet robot. Armor hatchet, give it a little more, give it a little more lats to make it look more menacing. That way you can have that armor. And then let's just say in that armor there's like this opening for the guy to, to look at, look out of. And all this is is um like I say, heavily armored. So you can take that direct hit to the chest. It won't affect the pilot too much. There's a little battle damage right there. And it has to have the way to move to twist. And of course, you want that, that wicked looking face. And this is his Gatling gun or laser or whatever you want on his shoulders and back. So you have to have room for that. If you're doing that, you have to have room for all of this stuff. And you can just have, you know, just a small little plain robot head. Just, you know, make them, you know, menacing looking, you know, robot. Because they don't need a head because the pilot is the, you know, the pilot is the head. So you can do whatever. Maybe have like antenna or something for radio communication. And that could be just, just how he climbs in, opens the head up like a hatch and then drops down and they paint faces or whatever the kind of face they want to paint on it to make the robot look a little, you know, meaner. Gotta draw the boot. Remember this is this is the guy's gear, his weapons and so forth in in the um little shin area. So whenever he gets out. Cause you can't take your machine guns and all that and keep it in there so you kind of keep it in there so it's kind of like a storage locker and you can have two you can have one over here one over there however this is just how the brain works and then he has the 
for added traction and for stomping on people and cars and stuff. So this could be a big, heavy kind of boot with thick heel. So we'll be making a little slower. But when he comes through, you're not gonna be able to stop him. So those three things, purpose, size, size would determine the shape. Whatever the purpose is determines the shape. If it's fast, you know, you want to make it pointy. If it's big and, and slow, you want to give it a less um, sleeker shape. So give that some thought as you're just kind of shaping out your vehicles. Use your basic shapes. Use your, use your basic cylinder shapes. If I'm going to have a battleship, do I want it long? like a cylinder and maybe the engines in the front pulling it. Do I want it square and the engines in the back pushing it? Um, however, use your basic shapes first and then you can start chopping it up. Say like, okay, I want this. And see, I'll keep drawing forever because once I get into it, I'll keep drawing. This could be like the little hammerhead or like a or barbell kind of shape. And then back here, and then you have the, the ball back here. This is where everybody houses at. And this is the little um, engines in the front. It's pushing it from the front. And yeah, this could be the weapon. It could turn around and shoot the weapon out from the back. And this is the bridge up here. So much leeway to create something and then you just add more stuff to it sorry most of that was off camera but yeah start with your shapes then once you get your shape then you can go back and add your detail look for reference to see you know how you would put your panels or you know if this is gigantic these are my windows right here because it's, it's so big people actually live in there plus they operate the, the big weapon which is like right here which makes it the world destroyer. And it's pulled from the front. Like I said, here's your engines. And it's pulling from the front bridge. And I'll go again and again. So I'm just gonna end this lesson. And cause you have a lot to think about when it comes to creating your ships or your, yes, your, your, your ships. And you're still drawing, I know, just, just how I roll. So, all right, I'm going to let you guys go with that one. Start thinking about those three things, purpose, size, shape, and start creating. All right, I will see you guys later in the next video. Thanks for coming. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. All right, I'm out.